the system over. Remove the two rubber feet and two screws as marked. Lift up and remove the bottom cover. Remove the USB board cable. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Remove the six screws as marked. Lift up and remove the battery. Press on the release tabs until the memory module pops up. Lift up and remove the memory module with care. Remove the four screws that secure the hard disk drive bracket. Disconnect the hard disk drive and remove it. Remove the four screws that secure the hard disk drive to the bracket. Lift up the bracket and hard disk drive is removed. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Remove the six screws as marked. Lift up and remove the heat sink. Disconnect the camera cable from the system board. Disconnect the display signal cable from the system board. Disconnect the wireless LAN antennas. and remove the USB board. Disconnect the speaker cable from the system board. Remove the four screws that secure the speaker to the chassis. Lift up 
and remove the speakers as shown. Remove the single screw that secures the keyboard to the chassis. Turn the chassis over. Flip the keyboard over. Disconnect the keyboard cable as shown. Remove the keyboard from the system. Disconnect the touchpad cable. Turn the chassis over. Remove the six screws as marked. Lift up and remove the system board from the chassis. Remove the four screws as marked. Turn the chassis over. Lift up and remove the touchpad. With the fingers starting at one side of the bezel, carefully work your way around the display panel and unsnap the bezel from the bottom cover. Lift up and remove the bezel as shown. Lift up the camera as shown. Disconnect the cable and remove the camera module. Remove the two screws that secure the hinge cover as shown. Remove the hinge cover. Remove the three screws that secure the left hinge as shown. Remove the left hinge. Remove the four screws that secure the LCD panel as shown. Lift up and remove the LCD panel. Place the bottom cover in position. Press down until it is properly engaged. Replace the two screws and two rubber feet in the marked area. Place the battery in position as shown. Replace the six screws in the marked areas. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the USB board cable. Insert the memory module into the slot using the notch for direction. Press it down until it clicks into place. Place the bracket onto the hard disk drive. Replace the four screws to the bracket. Place the hard disk drive back in position as shown. Replace the four screws that secure the bracket to the chassis. Place the heat sink in position using the screw holes for alignment. Replace the six screws to secure the heat sink. Connect the system fan cable. Place the chassis in position and restore the hinges as shown. Replace the four screws in the marked area.
connect the wireless WAN antennas. Reconnect the display signal cable. Reconnect the camera cable. Insert the wireless LAN card into the slot. Insert the wireless WAN card into the slot using the notch for direction. Replace the single screw as shown. Place the RTC battery in position. Reconnect the battery cable as shown. Place the power button board in position. Replace the single screw in the mark area. Button board cable as shown. Place the USB board in position as shown. Replace the two screws in the marked areas. in position as shown. Route the cable through the guides. Place the left speaker in position. Replace the four screws in the marked areas. Reconnect the speaker's cable. Board bottom up in position as shown. Reconnect the keyboard cable and secure the ZIF connector. Flip the keyboard over and press down until it is properly engaged. Turn the chassis over. Replace the single screw to secure the keyboard. Place the system board in position as shown. Replace the six screws to secure the system board. Turn the chassis over. Connect the touch pad cable as shown. Place the touch pad back in position as shown. Turn the chassis over. Replace the four screws in the marked areas. Bezel in position 
Fashion. Press until it is properly taped. Reconnect the cable as shown. Replace the camera module back in position. Press until it is properly taped. Replace the LCD panel position. Place the four screws to secure the LCD panel as shown. Replace the left hinge. Replace the three screws to secure the left hinge. Replace the hinge cover as shown. Replace the two screws that secure the hinge cover.